Okay, so I guess I'm live. I don't know if anybody's gonna watch this or not. It's Sunday morning, pretty early, but uh, a couple days ago I picked up the Veritas flat bottom spoke shave and I thought I'd maybe just unbox it and take a peek at it. I'm gonna try and use my iPad on another account so that I'll be able to actually see some of the comments in the chat and whatnot. Maybe I'll be able to respond to you in live time as, I, as I'm able to maybe read them. But yeah, let's get this thing unboxed and check it out. And maybe we'll take a few little practice spoke shave shavings with it. It uh, comes with a, a little bit of instructions, I guess, here. We'll maybe get that going first. And I think these are the little shims, probably. Yeah, these are the shims, so you can close the mouth up on the spoke shave a little bit more. There's two of them. There's a blue one and somewhat of a, a dark brown one. And those just allow you to close up the mouth on the, the spoke shave a little bit more so you get a tighter mouth for a little bit less tear out, I believe is what the idea is. But it comes packaged in this uh, paper that is corrosion resistant paper. And there's the tool right there. So this one here has very nice uh, consistent color on the handles. I think I got lucky with this one. Sometimes uh, different tools have a bit of variation on the colors in some of their wood handles, but this one looks really, really nice actually. And I think we'll just slip it apart here quickly, just so I can give you a quick tour of, of the parts. So here's what would be like a, a lever cap essentially. And here's the blade and it is a, a bevel uh, down spoke shave uh, blade as well here. And I think we'll just give it a quick little wipe off. There is a tiny bit of oil actually on this probably once again to prevent some rust, but it does look like there is a micro bevel out there at the edge and it is that PMV 11 tool steel for the blade. I, I don't think they actually make it in any other tool steel presently. When I bought it at Lee Valley on Friday, uh, just a couple days ago, uh, there wasn't any options to pick any other types of blade uh, tool steel at all other than just this. So um, yeah, and I guess maybe we'll give the, the bed a little bit of a wipe up here too. But like with all the Lee Valley tools, the machining's really, really good on them. When I'm looking at the, the bed here, it does look nice and machined. Okay. I'm not gonna bother putting any of these shims in for a few little quick trial shavings here this morning. I just wanted to really get it unboxed and see what we got going on here because I'm excited to use this. I have a, a project on the go right now where I've got some curved legs that I'm going to want to spoke shave these curves. I know I could probably use a, a random orbit sander or possibly um, maybe even a block plane to, to fare these curves a little bit but I'm actually making an entryway bench so basically this is one end, there'll be another leg here and a seat. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to be able to use a spoke shave to put some shapes on this. And I don't think I'm going to follow these exact curves, just so you guys know. I think I'm going to start to actually maybe put some twists or some, some uh, flat areas onto these legs. So that was one of the motivations for buying a spoke shave. Yeah, I could use a sander or some other tools possibly, but then that wouldn't leave me an opportunity to buy a new tool. And I just sometimes like to get tools as I need them for different projects so that I can slowly build up my, my uh, collection of tools over time rather than all at once. So let's see about getting some kind of a chunk of wood here to give a shot with. Uh, maybe we'll just use this piece of walnut here. 
And we'll try and get this camera in a little bit closer so you guys can see what's what's going on here. There we go. I wasn't probably going to take too long for this video today. My guess is maybe a 10, possibly 20 minutes at the very most. I guess it just depends on if anybody's got any questions for me in the chat. Just type them in there and... Or even if you like these kinds of videos where we unbox a tool and, and get it going let me know because I'm not certain what some people really like yet quite on YouTube. I've been doing this for a few years, but I really haven't had any videos blow up and kind of thinking at some point, somebody's going to start to tell me what they're liking and what they're not liking. So I'm just kind of sighting down the sole here a little bit. I know some people will skew the blades so that it protrudes more on one side versus the other but I'm actually going to try and keep it fairly level across the sole, I think. There we go. I think we need a little heavier cut than that. It's not quite grabbing. I've got a grand total probably of roughly five minutes using a spoke shave, so definitely this will be a bit of a learning curve for me. I like the idea of having the adjustment of the blade on these different knobs here though, because I don't know, I've never been a fan of, of watching people actually just tapping a spoke shave. I know everybody does it or a lot of people do it. You know, Paul Sellers, um, you see Eric Curtis doing it. Um, but yeah, so right out of the box, this thing works pretty good. The blade's actually honed quite nicely. I'm not trying to take a huge shaving by any means, but it's a, a good little thickness there but really super easy to just put a round over on the edge of your workpiece there. Like that didn't take any time at all and super quiet, no, no router bit to be able to get a round over like that on it. So I think a, a spoke shave is a really good uh, tool to use to get somebody introduced into woodworking as well. I've got one of my friends coming over on uh, Monday night, so tomorrow night he's going to pop over and I'm just going to give him a tour of the shop, give him maybe a little bit of a tour of what some of the machines do, just kind of give him an introduction to woodworking. I've been trying to introduce some friends and people that I know fairly well in my area to woodworking just by inviting them over to my shop and letting them try some of the tools, some of the machines, and Maybe it'll be a hobby or a, a passion that somebody else picks up if I uh, keep sharing this with people in the area. But I think, you know, in order to grow this craft, the more people that do actually learn about woodworking, the better. 
But yeah, certainly a spoke shave is a really good one to actually use with a, a child too. If you've got a kid at home that uh, you want to introduce to woodworking, spoke shave, very, very simple tool, relatively safe overall. And you know, if you just teach the kid to be able to use it and how to set it up, which shouldn't take you any more than a few short moments, then it's a tool that they can use to, to make lots of little cool project with some shaped wood. And yeah, I, I, I kind of like this spoke shave so far. I think it's going to be a good addition to the shop, especially for this one project like I want to do. And I'm a little bit hesitant to try this on my real workpiece until I get a little bit more familiar with it, but ah, what the heck, what's the worst that can happen, right? Where did that leg go here? Just trying to look at the grain orientation on this. Um, I've got this set for a very, very light cut for this entryway bench leg that I'm making. So we're barely taking anything off. I am skewing it a little bit. Might need just a little more blade than this though. So we're not quite digging in. I see there's not too many people on the uh, live stream here, but let me know in the comments if you've ever used a spoke shave before, because I, I really haven't used one much at all. I've got very, very little time using one whatsoever. I've used my neighbors for a few minutes, and then I've used one actually at the Lee Valley store before I bought this for about five minutes the other day. So. Just trying to, to get the feel of it and just how to adjust it. It's not going to take a long time to figure it out, but certainly you need to have a little bit of experience in order to get some of the curves the way they need to be. It's sticking in a little too much there now. Getting a little bit of chatter on this. I think before I go with that, I think I might try to work with this practice piece a little bit more to get it set up a little bit better possibly because I don't want to wreck that piece or have to sand too much of that out to start over. This is walnut that uh, Leg here is actually cherry. The 
Yeah, I'm certainly getting a, a lot of chatter off of this. I've got the lever cap down there pretty tight. Guessing it's because maybe I've got a little bit too much blade sticking out. If you got any tips on just how much blade to have sticking out on these spoke shaves when you're trying to do a, a nice flat area that might be curved kind of like this leg, let me know in the, the chat there because that may help me to get off and running a little quicker later on today when I start using this. But I think it's starting to come a little bit now as I'm starting to put a little bit of pressure differently on the tool and get the blade projection changed a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's starting to come with a bit of a skew. So I think I will end the live stream about here. I think uh, my first impressions of the tool, it's pretty darn good. The fit and finish of it's really nice. I think it's gonna be a great addition to the shop. And I really do think it's gonna get a lot of use over the years, most definitely. Um, but yeah, if you wanna know anything more about the tool or if you wanna see me use it on some other projects, once I've maybe got a little bit more time using it, then let me know in the comments once this video actually goes into its actual full version. So yeah, until next time, go build something beautiful guys.